How's it going everyone? Thank you for joining me this week. Uh, this is just gonna be a quick video, quick update about something that happened mathematically this week. I was just informed of this just two days ago, but here I have, I wanna be posting these up in this room. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can read that, but what it says is Karen Uhlenbeck is the first woman to win the Abel Prize for mathematics. And what the Abel Prize is, is something for mathematics where basically you've made a huge contribution to the field. It's a very prestigious award and it's pretty much like the Nobel Peace Prize, you know, the Nobel Prize for, you know, mathematics. Like it's at that level. So it's kind of like, you know, an, a gold medal in the Olympics. And uh, what, what Karen Uhlenbeck is, uh, you know, let me just read a little bit about it. Um, She's from the University of Texas at Austin, you know, like that tipped me off. And then it says like, she's the first woman to win this. Now this hasn't been around for very long. Uh, since uh, 2003, I think this award has been around. She, you know, just to be the first woman, I, 19 others have earned this award and she's the first woman to earn it. And then um, very, very uh, incredible accomplishment. Let's see, she's made advances in uh, describing the complex shapes of soap films, not in a bubble bath, but in abstract high dimensional curved spaces. Okay, she helped put a rigorous mathematical underpinning to techniques widely used by physicists in quantum field theory to describe fundamental interactions between particles and forces. She has done some incredible work, not just for, you know, mathematics and, you know, pure mathematics, but she's done incredible work for all of humanity. And that's why she has earned this medal. This was picked up and published by Fox. It was picked up and published by CNN, NPR, uh, BBC, across the world. Every major news station has picked up the story and has commented about this incredible accomplishment. And then I was reading through the comments on one of these and it said, what's the whole big point about her being a woman, being the first woman? And so, you know, maybe just the first person named Karen to earn this prize. And that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because one, you're, you're taking away the accomplishment from her. The, this person thought it was, they were, by talking about how she's a woman, it takes away the accomplishment from her but it doesn't take away from the accomplishment. It is part of her identity uh, as a woman to have made this accomplishment. In my mind, it kind of sets back a lot of people because you know a lot of great things have, have come from a lot of hard work and their accomplishments don't go noticed. And we need to recognize people when they've done great things. And it was kind of interesting to me that she's like the first in 20 people to be awarded this medal who is a female. And to me, like, that's a, that's kind of a big deal is that what that says to me, it has nothing to say, nothing against, uh, you know, Dr. Ullenbeck for all of the incredible work that she's done. It has everything to do with how we have viewed mathematics in that, you know, maybe like boys are better than girls in mathematics. And so, you know, girls just don't feel like confident to go into this career field of being s studious in a career that most people would think is a male career field, like, uh, you know, kind of stale. And that's not the case. We need to continue to encourage females to do well in mathematics. So females like girls, when you tell me like, I'm not good at mathematics, I can't do this, or my brain is dead, like, get that out of your head you can do this you can do great things and if you continue to degrade yourself and keep saying that you can't do it that's going to be true you're not going to go out of your comfort zone to succeed in this area so i want you guys to succeed in this area i want you guys to to find find confidence in mathematics whether or not you want to pursue this as a career field you guys can do this uh, you girls can do this. Find success in whatever career field you want to do, but don't lose confidence in mathematics. If this is something that you have shown skills in, keep pursuing those skills, all right? Keep pursuing those fields that are going to take you places. With this is just going to be a quick update about this fantastic thing about, uh, you know, this, this incredible prize for this professor at UT Austin. 
I'm Mr. Hernandez. Keep working hard. Stay safe.